Hey everyone, it's Mike Swigetsky here, founder of Global Career and best-selling author of Global Career, How to Work Anywhere and Travel Forever. Today I've got a really exciting video and I'm going to teach you how to start a drop shipping store from scratch. I'm also going to teach you a little bit more about what drop shipping is if you're a beginner and some of the biggest mistakes that people make when getting into drop shipping. Now this is something that's been around since the 60s and 70s and it's not going anywhere soon. I'll tell you a little bit more about the method, how it works, and how people have been able to build multi-million dollar businesses with this drop shipping business model. So let's go ahead and dig right in. So you're probably wondering what the heck I know about drop shipping. So just a bit of background about myself. One of the first businesses I created was essentially a drop shipping business with t-shirts and designs for apparel. And I'm gonna walk you through a few of the mistakes that we made, and if I had to go back, what I would have done differently. And in addition to this, while working at Empire Flippers, I helped broker more than $100 million worth of online businesses, and a big portion of those businesses were with the dropshipping and e-commerce business model. So it is a legitimate way to make money, and I'll show you some of the step-by-step -step so you can get started today. It is fairly easy to get started. So there is a lot of competition in some arenas, but if you do things differently with the tips that I give you, I guarantee you'll have a lot more success than if you follow what others are doing right now. So starting off, what exactly is drop shipping? It's as easy as explaining that a customer orders something from your store or your online Shopify site, and then once that order is received, you receive the money, you send that order to the supplier, and instead of sending the, the, the product directly to you, they send the product directly to the customer. So it goes like this. Customer makes an order through your store, you send the, the order to the supplier and the product goes directly from the supplier to the customer. It's as easy as that. And like I mentioned earlier, people were doing the same business model in the 60s and 70s with ordering things through magazines and on TV. So it's been around for a while. There's been product catalogs when people used to order them through newspapers, magazines, and on those, those really infamous TV shows. So it's not a new business model and it's not going anywhere because it does work really well. So one of the things to consider before building your dropshipping store is taking a deep look at what's working well and how you're gonna drive traffic to your website and how you're gonna gain customers. And one of the first things I wanna talk about is how you can get started. It's really easy to go ahead and build a Shopify store, which is an easy way to essentially create a website that is geared for dropshipping. And there's a lot of things that makes it really easy, really simple to take payment processes to automate your orders through your supplier. And the majority of ways, the hard part about creating a dropshipping business isn't necessarily creating the, the website or the Shopify store. It's finding really good items that you're gonna send from, that you're gonna sell on behalf of the suppliers. So finding these suppliers, finding unique items that are gonna do well on whatever way you're gonna be driving traffic to your store or to your website. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, and I'll go through the top three biggest mistakes here. Number one is they try to find products on AliExpress or Alibaba, and there's thousands and thousands of other people doing this, so there's a lot of competition. So a lot of people are selling the same exact items because it's as easy as making a few clicks on your website to automatically integrate these products. So Let's say you're buying them for a dollar and then selling them for 10 or $15 online and you're still making a 50% profit margin, which is great, but there's so many other people doing this, it doesn't really have a moat. And so if you're getting new into drop shipping, I would say to try to find more unique suppliers that aren't necessarily on AliExpress. Find something that's you know a little bit more unique. You can find stuff on Etsy and make, a, make personal agreements with them. You can find other countries outside of China or even suppliers in China, but try to find something that's gonna be a high margin, big ticket item. One of the examples I like to use is mattresses. So finding a mattress brand where you can find high quality products, have a huge margin on that, you can sell them for you know, double or triple the price and something that a lot of people aren't necessarily doing. And the reason having these big margins and high ticket items are, is it's essential to drive traffic either organically or with paid ads. And a lot of dropshipping stores are using the latter where they're running Facebook or Instagram ads to their products. And because they're able to, to sell these large items that are, some of these items can be thousands of dollars, they have much higher margins 
to create a sale. So instead of having $5 to spend on Facebook ads, they can create a lead or a customer by spending 200, 300, sometimes even $500 on Facebook ads, Google shopping ads, or just Google search terms. It gives you a lot more runway and power to really sell these items and having a high ticket item is going to be essential now. So just to recap, I would say if you're just starting off, try to stray away from those small items like phone cases, even jewelry, unless it's gonna be very high ticket items for jewelry, uh, like over a thousand dollars. And I would stray away from AliExpress, try to find something unique, try to find something that a lot of people aren't doing. It's okay if, if there's three or four other people in the industry or even a few dozen, it doesn't matter, as long as it's not overly saturated and you have to do the keyword research to figure out if this is going to be a good market for you to rank in. And then the last thing, the biggest mistake I see is people not generating enough traffic for their dropshipping business or the right type of traffic. So there's a lot of ways to test this and I think a lot of people give up too quickly. You do need to invest, if you're going to go the paid traffic route, you do need to invest you know, hundreds, even thousands of dollars to really test it out to make sure that it's working correctly Make sure that you're actually getting and targeting the right people that are going to buy your product. So for example, if you're running a Google ad and you're selling mattresses, buy a mattress online now is going to have a lot more buyer intent than somebody who's looking like for what are the best mattresses in 2020. Something like that is going to be a lot different, but the, the keyword with the higher buyer intent is probably going to be a lot more expensive than the other informational article. So this is something to consider when you're getting in the dropshipping and how to get started. So just to kind of recap, you're gonna to wanna to build a Shopify store. I think that's the easiest place for beginners to start off. You're gonna to wanna to find high ticket products that are going to be able to give you a really big margin to run Facebook ads, Google ads, or any type of traffic to. You can also have success with organic traffic, but most people in dropshipping have a really good understanding of how paid traffic works and how they're able to generate an income with this. So there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of dropshipping businesses that I've seen are spending around $10,000 on advertisements and they're getting $15,000 in revenue, but they're still walking away with five grand in profit. They're generating a lot of frequent flyer points, a lot of miles on credit cards. So they're able to travel for free. So even with that 5k every month, a lot of miles, but it can really go up from there and down. So you really have to test your success. And if you're interested in acquiring an already pre-established Shopify business or dropshipping business, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave some information below. There's a lot of ways where you don't have to spend two or three years trying to figure this out, failing over and over. You can start with an already profitable dropshipping business today and you can hit the ground running on just focusing on growing that business instead of figuring out how it works and how to run with it and how to actually get it off the ground. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave some details below. And again, thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate your support. And if you haven't yet, please go ahead and like this video and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified about the two new videos I'm releasing every week. So take care and have a wonderful rest of your day.